You ever go to the supermarket and see the explosion of plant-based products and like quietly wonder what the heck is all this stuff? Well, don't worry, you're not the only one. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with an, uh, another vlog episode. This one we're, we're going to try and uh, get a couple together called Ridiculous Food Items. And it's, it's sort of going to be connected to the low carb, carnivore, keto lifestyle. And today's uh, product we're talking about is Mikey's. Uh, they're, I guess they're Hot Pockets of some kind. Uh, and I saw these over at, at ShopRite. And they're seven dollars for four uh, ounces, two four-ounce uh, hot pockets. Uh, so that comes out to like fourteen dollars a pound. Uh, that's kind of expensive. And they, uh, in big letters on the front of the package, they have uh, paleo-friendly, milk and lactose-free, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, um, and it's uh, basically plant-based, plant-based cheese alternative um, and I guess people love cheese so much uh, deep inside but yet they've been coaxed or coerced or brainwashed into thinking there's something wrong with cheese but there's nothing wrong with the taste of cheese for some odd reason so now they have a team of scientists in a lab mixing all sorts of plant-based flowers and and all sorts of stuff to make something that sort of tastes like cheese but isn't cheese. Um, I don't know why your food has to be a lab experiment. Cheese is made from a cow, it's easy, it's not a lab experiment. Yes, it is a process to make cheese that doesn't come naturally. Um, but this is just one of those ridiculous things and I think the plant-based theme is just is every there's just too many people that think that plant-based means good okay um, and plant sounds so uh, harmless but you know here's a couple other things that are plant-based there's a bee flying around that's plant-based um, gasoline is plant-based at least in New Jersey it's 10% ethanol which comes from corn that's plant-based but then you get these people that are weird they love plant-based but then they won't drive a gas car they'll get an electric car which gets fuel from the power plant that either runs nuclear coal or whatever you can't win with these people um, cosmetics are plant-based I don't see people eating lipstick for lunch um, plus soap shampoo baby diapers are plant-based um, glue I mean, some people must be sniffing plant-based glue to think that this uh, plant-based stuff is just great for you and of course just to clean up the big crappy mess toilet paper is also plant-based made from trees so I really think the plant-based uh, phenomenon or trend or whatever you want to call it has gone too far it's, it's ridiculously expensive just eat meat Eat meat and cheese, if you can tolerate dairy, uh, meat and cheese and eggs, and you'll be fine. I have something stuck in my teeth. I think it's some meat I had for lunch. Ground beef and ricotta cheese and cottage cheese mixed with uh, a couple spoonfuls of tomato and some uh, real cheese on top. It's my uh, uh, pasta-less lasagna bake. I make it uh, once a week. It's delicious and it's uh, low carb. So that's it. I really think this stuff is, is ridiculously expensive and by the way it's not any lower carb. In fact it's the same amount of carbs per ounce that a Hot Pocket is. And Hot Pockets at the supermarket when you get them on sale I think they're a dollar a box. I think you get four or five boxes of Hot Pockets which are nine ounces or four and a half ounces each Hot Pocket. And uh, they're like a dollar a box. Dollar or two at the most when they're on sale. So you're paying $6.99 for the privilege of eating a lab created Franken pocket and I, I just don't think uh, why bother making things the way they tasted when they were in their original form you might as well just eat something completely different imitation foods especially that plant-based meat oh my god those uh, Franken burgers I, I like to call them but they're uh, veg I, what are they even called uh, I, I can't remember anymore but they those things were awful and they put natural flavors in it which includes MSG and I ate the whole thing like I, I was going 
going on a hunger strike for 60 days afterwards. Ridiculous. So just keep in mind that you're paying through the nose for some virtuous, uh, feel-good food product, which is crap, okay? Just eat meat, eggs, and dairy, and you will be fine. Have a nice rest of your week.